hi guys welcome back to another video um tonight's video is going to be real laid back i am going to uh re twist the top portion of my hair um i was planning to well first of all if you're new here i started my log journey in may and so i've been what june july august september october May five months October the second and last month I interlocked for the first time and I loved it because retwist only lasts like a couple days on me when I retwist my hair I love the way it looks love the um how neat it looks and everything but it only lasts like a couple days on me So, I love the way the retwist looks because it looks so neat. It looks so groomed. However, it only lasts like a couple days. So, last month, I interlocked for the first time. And interlocking is much more like it'll maintain the locks. Like they maintain their togetherness. I don't know what term to use longer because like it's not time for me to interlock anymore because i've been watching a lot of videos and there's not really enough space in my new growth yet for me to interlock so i figured i would have to interlock like every three months two to three months so that's what i decided to do so i'm not going to interlock anymore until i get like at least two inches of new growth in this area so that's what I'm waiting on um so but I'm tired of this frizziness so I watched oh, oh my god I cannot remember the lady's name but I'm new to her channel I will put her name on the screen but she has these nice locks and she does a lot of lock videos and she just uploaded a video like a couple days ago as to whether it's okay to retwist and interlock and she said that it is she said that basically just as long as you don't damage your hair and like and by like interlocking too frequently or interlocking improperly where you end up with holes in your lock stuff like that but she said it's perfectly fine because she retwists and interlocks for the same reason that the reason why I'm doing it right now is because she wants a neater more professional look and she says that her locks get really frizzy so I was, when I saw that I was like okay I'm gonna try that I didn't know I was gonna be doing it tonight but here we are <laughs> so just so it looks neat because I wear wigs a lot a lot but I like my locks since they're you know starting to grow and everything so I would like to wear my locks you know let me grab some ponytail holders. And I also have this Dr. Locks locking spray. I'm going to try it tonight as well. Uh, I picked up a trial size of their products. And I really liked that this brand is by one, a woman, two, a black woman. I just feel so good about purchasing from this company. And their stuff is not cheap, but it's not super expensive either. But I just picked up the tri their trial kit, which it comes with their five main products. I think it's five. I think it's five. Five main products, and you get like a one ounce size of each product. And it's only 20. I knocked my mirror over. And it's only $25. If I like it, I'm going to go back and get probably the locking spray. And I don't know, I gotta try everything. So far, I've only tried the shampoo, and then today I'm gonna try the locking spray. Because the locking spray is supposed to hold your locks, but without the buildup and stuff like that. So, that is something that is interesting to me. So, I wanted to try it out. So, in my. Jesus. So in my spray bottle, I just have um, distilled water, aloe vera juice, and my oil, my hair and scalp oil. And I just make this little mixture. And I spray this on my hair like every couple days to moisturize it. Oh, 
I'm making it a habit to be very gentle with my hair and I'm also using Eco Styler Gel to twist my hair I can't remember who I saw but it was some uh, it was some lock person that I saw and they were using Eco Styler Gel and I was like I have some of that Because one thing that I don't want is I don't want to have a whole bunch of build up in my locks and when I get to one year I'm going to do uh, um, apple cider vinegar rinse so I'm looking forward to that because I haven't done anything with my hair since I can't remember when I interlocked I posted it on on um on Facebook oh I can go I mean Instagram I can go and check September 25th well I interlocked my hair one two it'll be three weeks on Friday three weeks ago I interlocked my hair And so I haven't really done anything else with it since then. And y'all don't don't look to me as a lock expert. I am learning as I'm going. So don't say, ah, uh -uh, Rhonda said this about locks. No, Rhonda, Rhonda is still a beginner. I feel like I'm gonna end up twisting my whole head. I said I was just gonna do the front. But I feel like I'm going to end up twisting my whole head. I can't wait until my locks get longer. So I don't have to use these clips. Because they kind of aggravate. So my plan for my locks is I am going to... Because I think I was like started talking about that and then I kind of got off subject so I'm going to uh, try interlocking at least for six months to see how I like it because I don't I know I saw someone say that they don't like how hard it makes their locks and I don't want hard locks either I want fluffy locks and I uh, so I'm, I'm keep uh, that's in the back of my head so I gotta watch out for that as well as I saw someone else say that they may, you know, they're going to feel a little harder, but they will eventually thicken up and be fluffy. So I don't know. Just kind of trying things out. So I'm going to try interlocking for six months and then see where I'm at at that point and then make my decision whether I would just retwist or continue to do both. Or maybe I'll just interlock and then twist like the shaft of my locks so that they can be neat. Maybe I'll try that because that may be something that works. But overall, I am very happy with my decision to lock my hair. It's been amazing. Like, this is the most growth that I have seen in a while. Just because, I don't know, I feel like, for one, I'm taking better care of my hair. Because every couple of days, you know, I'm, I'm uh, moisturizing it. And I'm not really fooling with it too much. Because at the beginning... I kept my hands in my head all the time so that's why I kind of like went back to wearing my wigs because every time I turned around I had my hands in my hair and I was like Rhonda you're gonna be bald headed around here messing with these locks and so but I've kind of like tamed that a little bit so I'm happy about that but as far as growth I'm I'm, I'm excited I just wish the back of my hair would catch up because if the back of my hair was as long as the top, I would be 
completely in love. That's the only pause that I have right now. And I'm just wait. I'm just taking extra care of this in the back because I want it to catch up with the top and the sides. But it is what it is. My hair has always been like that. It'll grow. It grows fast on the top, and then it grows slow in the back, which I always hated. And as you can see, I'm not using a whole bunch of product. Just enough. To smooth them out. I'm just separating my roots as I'm going. Also, make sure I twist all the way down to the end. Because that's my problem. It's the frizziness that I'm tired of. So, So what type of videos do you guys want to see from me? Because I have my little notebook and when I'm at work during the day, I be jotting down ideas and stuff like that. Because I don't know if y'all noticed, but I've been a little more consistent. I, I kind of like stepped back away from using social media so much to advertise my lashes and everything. I haven't really been doing that a lot lately because I just feel like I just, I just wanted to take a step back. At this point, a lot of people know what I sell. You can look at my page and see, you know, that I have a business, that I have a website. You can go to the website and look. I don't feel like I need to shove it down people's throat. So I just kind of like have taken a step back. I want to get back to getting into YouTube and, you know, enjoying social media. And I have really been enjoying, you know, filming these videos, editing them. I just learned how to, um, download from the no copyright right sounds audio library it only took me a couple seconds to figure it out but it's just i guess i just didn't take time to try to figure it out before and then i kind of i edit on my iphone so because the editing software that i have on my computer i don't have a mac i just have a a Windows laptop and so that editing software I don't really like as much as I like iMovie but I would love that's my next thing that I want to get I would love to have a Mac computer so the next thing I'm gonna get is gonna be a Mac computer I think I'm most likely get a, um, a laptop I don't think I'm gonna get a desktop but that's what I want to get that's one of the things that's on my my want list is to get a MacBook. So I'm just going to continue twisting my hair and then I will come back when I get ready to um, demonstrate the, um, the Dr. Locks product.
Alright, so hair's all retwisted. I ended up doing the whole head like I figured I was going to do anyway. Um, so what I'm planning to do is retwist my hair once a month like I did initially at the beginning of my lock journey. And then once I get one to two inches of new growth, then I will interlock. So I'm just going to try that and see how it goes because that frizziness I just couldn't, couldn't get with. Um, even, though, even though I know some frizziness is unavoidable, that was just a lot. Like, I can see the difference in my hair already from this retwist. So this locking spray, I hope it has instruction. It says the Imani locking spray gives your freshly twisted locks the hold you want without dryness or buildup. This chamomile tea based spray is perfect for both rehydrating and grooming locks. So I guess I'm just supposed to spray it on. So we're going to try it. Smells good. I don't know how much I'm supposed to spray. I think I'm definitely going to repurchase the locking spray. At this point, it's supposed to sit on the dryer, but I don't feel like doing that tonight, y'all. So I am just going to sleep with these in my head. I sleep on my tummy anyway and like this, so it should be fine. So I'm just going to take these off in the morning and we'll see how it goes. Morning, guys. So I'm taking down, uh, well, taking the pins out of my hair to see how it looks. Alright, I think I got all of the pins out. Feels like it. So this is what my hair is looking like. That's it. <laughs> so I really like the results from the retwist. I'm going to see how the Imani locking spray holds my hair. If it holds it any um, better than when I was retwisting without it. So we're gonna be trying that out, but I like it. But for now, the plan is to retwist once a month. And when I have one to two inches of new growth, then I will interlock. I did interlock the a few of my locks in the back just because they're the ones that keep coming loose. So they keep coming loose, and so I'm going to keep interlocking them and hopefully they will be locked soon because I started out with way more back there that kept coming loose and I only have like three. But that is it for this video. Um, yeah, I like how it turned out. But of course I always like it the first day of my retwist, but by like day three, the retwist is gone, but we're gonna see. And I'm going to make sure that I tie my hair down at night and keep my hands out of my hair and see how long this retwist will last. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And also subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs>